John, first of all, congratulations on being appointed chairman of Greenock Martin. You must be delighted to have taken up the role. Yes, Gareth, thanks very much. Yes, I'm delighted when I was first approached uh, to take up the, ch- the chairmanship of the club. It was a privilege, considering the previous chairman that have been here, uh, predominantly two families in particular. As you know, I've had a relationship with both those families. But to be chairman of the club, uh, I did think long and hard about it, whether we could give it the commitment. And uh, I think it's a, it's a task worth seeing through and hopefully we can we can do well together between MCT, the Morton Board and myself. I think I've got a lot to bring to the club and I'm, I appreciate that I was made the approach. And for people that might not be aware of who you are or your experience in football and your background, can you just give us a, a wee bit of insight into that? Yeah, of course I can. Listen, I think, I'd like to think that I played at a reasonable level of football myself as a youngster. I went to England as a young kid, I came back and I uh, actually did my coaching badges under Andy Roxburgh, so I understand the, the qualification side of, of football. Uh, played at a reasonable standard myself, uh, and then started my own businesses. And through that business side of the, the my, my life, I got in, involved with John Wilson, the, 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 the previous Morton chairman. I think it was from about 1986 uh, to maybe mid-90s, 94, 95 maybe, approximately. And uh, John ran the business as an owner. Uh, I learned a lot from John, and especially John's relationship with Alan McGraw. I was involved very, very closely in that linkage between Wilson and McGraw and John McMaster, uh, but predominantly John Wilson and Alan. And out of that came a lot of learning. John made a profit for the club, and his ultimate goal was the club had to do well. Uh, There was investment, obviously, from him and his family, uh, so that he had to make sure it was a success. So that was a learning curve for me. Uh, and I think we worked well as a team. I think that's important. Everybody has to work well as a team. Uh, that, I think that's my strength. And then we moved on to the relationship with the Ray family. Douglas, I became quite uh, friendly with. Uh, I think we both respected each other in business. And Crawford was involved in that process as well. And I would have to say Gillian Donaldson, who was very helpful to me at that, at that time. So my years with John Wilson, Alan McGraw, and Douglas and Crawford, Hopefully I've picked something out of that to help Morton Football Club move forward. And the only thing I will say is to, to anybody that doesn't know me is they'll get 100%. Uh, that This job uh, takes a bit of time. Uh, obviously I've got businesses to run, uh, but hopefully my experience on the non-football side and the football side will help the club and will also help the current board of directors. First coming in as an advisor in June, and now being offered this position and taking it up, it really does say a lot about how much the board must trust you and, and trust that experience in football to, to make decisions. I would hope so, Gareth, yeah, but, but it works both ways. I think when the when the board of directors asked me to be come back as a consultant to the board, uh, I did that uh, with a bit of trepidation, and I probably thought maybe the club were further forward than, than, than they were. And I think some of the things that I've spoke about are introduced on the football side and the non-football side, about how we can assist Dougie in doing his job correctly and how we restructure the, the non-football inside has probably been a wee bit more than I expected it to be at that in that three or four months. <clears throat> because, pardon me, because uh, I did think maybe it was going to be a bit further forward than it was. We are where we are and I think we can move forward together. Uh, I didn't know these board of directors and they didn't really know me. Maybe one or two of them knew, knew who, who I was. But I think it's worked well and moving forward that that was one of the reasons discussions when we were offered the chairmanship was were, were, were they going to stay and they weren't just going to be moving off the board. So hopefully we can build that relationship. A big part of your role will obviously be working alongside fan ownership and the MCT board. And it will be a case of not only having just the, the club's interest at heart, but the, the, the fans' interest at heart as well. Yes, I think Morton have always had a good support. Uh, they, they, they state their opinion, they wear their, 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 their heart on their, on their sleeve. Uh, the MCT, I've already had a discussion with the MCT board. We presented to them how we see the, 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 the club moving forward. We showed them, <coughs> pardon me, an organogram that we've put in place, the structures, everybody's roles, responsibilities, who reports to who, for example, basic things. And we, we give them an insight into that, uh, that, that, what we suggested off the field, this, how they should run. And that led on, obviously, to different positions having to be, be created at the club and having a structure there that, that 
can support Dougie on the field if we are professional off the field. So the MCT, yeah, very important. Fans, very important. The money that the fans contribute is extremely important through the MCT. But I think with the way the MCT board work and the people are on the board and the way that the modern football board works and, again, the people are on that board, they only have one goal and that's to move the club forward. So hopefully as the chairman I can steer that in the right direction. And away from behind the scenes as well, you'll be working alongside the football department and, and working with Dougie. How do you envision that going? I think I think it'll go well. Uh, Dougie's first job in management did fantastic last season uh, and we hope to move it forward positively. I have a good relationship with Dougie and I think we can learn from we can learn from both both parties. I think Dougie brings a lot to the football club that people don't see Monday to Friday. And I think he needs help and assistance moving forward on the non-footballing sector and the, the, the positions that we're going to bring to the off-field non-footballing part of the organisation, I think will help Dougie immensely. So I think the club, football-wise, uh, have a strong basis to work from. And I think Andy and, and Dougie moving forward with their management team supporting them, we, we, can, we can have a positive impact in the future. But the relationship between myself and Dougie is one that can work. And I, I see that being fruitful. And hopefully the, the general manager that comes in will add to that. Yeah, and you, you touch on the general manager there, there as well. Go, moving forward, there's a few staff additions coming in, I believe. And like you say, the general manager hopefully being appointed soon as well. Yeah, we, that has been good. That uh, process has been going on over the last probably two months. Obviously, there's been holidays in between that and trying to get everybody together. There was about 32 applications. It was narrowed down to six and then narrowed down to three. And we've concluded those three interviews this week. So the three of us that are involved in that process have to get together early next week and come up with a final proposal to, to move that forward. The candidates were, were a good selection of people and we just have to now make that appointment and hopefully we appoint the right person and that person will also be integrated in working with the other four stroke five positions that will be coming up on the organogram as well on the non-footballing side. But overall, moving forward, you know, a really positive time for the club on the pitch and off the pitch right now. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. And any any business change is not looked upon as a positive. But I think we have to make sure that we can we can make it a positive. I think with the football inside and the non football inside progressing together, rather than maybe one being ahead of the other, that that it's maybe been a wee bit in the past. And I think the criticism was made of this club. I've been out and about speaking to lots of other different chairmen. Uh, the president of the SFA was very, very honest in his comments about Morton Football Club. And I think if we take those on board, I think that in the past, Morton have been deemed full-time on the park and part-time off it. And I think we have to make sure that it's full-time on the park and full-time off the park. And hopefully that new organisation, when it's in place, can take the club forward positively.